hey guys welcome to today's video so I want to show you guys how you can correct over bleached knots that you may have to your closure I bleached my knots of my body wave closure and I accidentally left it too long and I was like all right I need to fix this so pretty much I will be fixing this with black hair dye I normally like to use a cream hair dye or a foam hair dye just because I have more control but either way you can achieve the results of correcting your over bleach knots and I honestly don't even remember the last time I over bleached my knots but hey I was like you know what this makes for good content let me show you guys because I know I'm not the first one to over bleach their knots when they are trying to make a wig so now you want to take your mannequin head and take your closure and I just want to show you guys a little up close like of how bad and how orange and brassy the roots um, of my closure is. I don't know what I was thinking y'all. I just let this sit too long and as you can see it is very brassy and not natural looking but it's all good. We are going to fix that. So first you want to place your closure right in the center of your mannequin that will give it a good area for you to be able to work around it maneuver it without staining it and i like to use t-pins and just secure my mannequin all around so that it does not move at all you want to use as many as you feel comfortable with So now that your closure is secure, I'm going to start on the end of the closure in skinny parts. I will take hair and start to apply my hair dye line by line with small gentle strokes. So now to apply the hair dye, I'll be taking a plastic spoolie and I prefer to use a spoolie over like a large or smaller applicator brush because you have way more control. You can get to the root of your closure without any worry of spillage on your lace. And as you can see, I am going into the closure with small strokes of hair dye and quickly um, moving through and you want to make sure you get both sides and just apply it. Another tip when applying the hair dye with your spoolie is you don't want to put too much hair dye on your spoolie because as you guys can see in the back, I kind of had too much hair dye and I believe it stained um, the closure, but I will show you guys how to fix that. So you just want to take part by part and it gets easier as you move down your closer, closure and apply the hair dye in quick strokes throughout the closure.
And if you ever feel like you just still keep taking too much dye, here's a little tip. I like to roll my spoolie on the side of my bowl just to make sure that the dye enters the bristles and just allows a more cleaner and swifter application to the closure. You wanna get as close to the knots as possible, but try your best not to stain your lace. And now, last but not least, we are in the final home stretch, right in the back and touching up. So now I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then wash it out and condition. So here you guys go. Here is my final new touched up closure. And as you can see, I have pretty much gotten rid of the brassiness. So now I'm going to take my hanger and hang the closure to dry. So now I'm gonna part it down the middle just to show you guys another view. Beautiful, and it is time for it to dry. See you in the next video where I will be installing the closure and making the wig.